Good morning, Los Santos. Beautiful start to the day. It's a bit early, five in the morning, but we got a good reason to be up this early. Today, we are taking delivery of six beautiful Lamborghinis. We're currently at our beautiful Malibu mansion just on the west coast of San Andreas here. We're really quickly going to head into our bathroom. We're going to go take a nice shower. We're going to get changed. And then we're going to go ahead and pick up all of our brand new beautiful vehicles. I cannot wait to show you guys some of these things. One of these vehicles... One of the vehicles we're picking up today is extremely rare as well. I got it custom made by Lamborghini, so I'm really excited to show you guys that. But with that said, I hope you enjoy. Let's go and get ready, and I'll meet you out front. Alrighty, guys, we are all ready to go. It's looking like a beautiful day. I'm not seeing too many clouds. That means there's not going to be much rain. Which means we're going to be able to pick up our cars and they won't even get wet. We'll be able to bring them right back to the house here. And I cannot wait. Let's see. It's uh, 6.30 in the morning. So we're just going to head into the garage and grab a car really quickly. And we're going to head on over to the docks and uh, take delivery of our first car. I think we're going to take our 10F here. And don't worry, I'm getting all three of these cars relocated afterwards. So uh, we got some space in our garage. But yeah, let's go ahead and head out of the house, and let's go and pick up our brand new cars. Alright, so we're just arriving at the docks. It looks to be about 7.30 in the morning now. And I believe we're supposed to just head right over there. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything. I'm not 100% sure where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to meet up with some guy. I think I see it right there. There we go. Alrighty. Alright, let's go have a quick chat with this guy right here. And we'll be right back. Alright, so that took like what? Yeah, that took like half an hour. But uh, yeah, everything's sorted out. So uh, yeah, which crate should we open first? That's the real question. I say we go with this one right over here. Let's go with the second to last crate right here. Let's hope for something beautiful, baby. Alright guys, the first Lamborghini we're taking delivery of is the Zentenario. Not the Centenario, Zentenario. Yes, that is right. Um, how are we gonna get this thing out of here? Actually, you know what? I think I could squeeze through there. Oh, baby, look at this thing. Now this is a Lambo. God damn. Oh, look at the quad exhaust on it, too. We got the big ass wheels and everything. Oh, man. All right, we got to do a little pull, right? We got to do a little one. Let's rev her up a bit. And boom. Oh, my God. This thing's got way too much power. Holy shit. It gained like no traction. We might have to switch out the tires because, you know, I need the traction. With a car like this that has so much power, you need traction or else you're just going to spin out and destroy it. So what we're actually going to be doing is dropping each one of these cars off at the Los Santos Customs. Our boy there is going to upgrade them all a little bit. Obviously, we're going to get some new wheels on this thing, get some new tires fitted on here as well so we get some more traction. We already have a driver sitting out front and they're going to take us back to the docks. We're going to pick up the next car. We're going to bring that car here. And then the next car will be ready. We could drive that back to our house. And then, yeah, we'll just keep on picking up all our cars as we go. All right. So we're pretty much good to go from here. Let's hop into the Cherokee and uh, head back to the docks. And get the next Lambo. All right. We're back. Now what crate should we open? All right. So we opened this crate. But now we got five more. I say we open the first one. Uh, we're going to have to tell him to move his car. So the next Lamborghini that we're picking up today is the beautiful Huracan Performante. Look at how beautiful this thing looks. Oh my god. Let's get, let's just jump right into it. Oh my god. This thing is sexy. I am really happy I decided to buy one of these things. They look stunning. I'm definitely gonna have to change the wheels up though. I mean, it's Lamborghini, but like, I mean, they make some nice ass aftermarket wheels. So, you know, I'm not a huge fan of stock rims on any car, to be completely honest, except for the McLaren P1. Stock rims on that thing are actually kind of sexy. But uh, let's do a quick pull on this thing. Hopefully the tires are a bit better. Hopefully get a bit more traction. 
compared to the Zentenario. Oh yeah, it's definitely better. It does not pick up quite as fast though. All right, so we're about to arrive back at the custom shop here and uh, we're gonna drop this thing off and the Zentenario should be ready to go. All right, I don't even wanna see this yet. I, I wanna be surprised. And now let's take a look at the Zentenar. Oh shit, baby. Ooh, neon orange beautiful wheels on there i love the tires as well this thing looks phenomenal the windows blacked out the windshield is blacked out oh this thing is sexy as hell all right so we're gonna leave the huracan right there he's gonna go ahead and mod that thing out for us and we're gonna take this straight back to our garage right now Oh my god. So the one question I have is, how much has the traction improved since we got these new wheels? We got some engine upgrades, transmission upgrades and everything. Let's see how this thing performs now from a dead stop. Here we go, and boom, we're off. Oh, it's a bit better. Oh, it's a bit better. Oh, wow, it picks up way quicker. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, does this thing ever pick up? Holy sheesh! Oh, I like that. I like that. Man, this thing is way too damn nice. Wide body Centenario. Holy shit. Do we miss the house? We literally missed those. Car is just too nice. I'm not even focusing where I'm going. I'm just enjoying the drive, baby. Let's go ahead and park this thing in the garage. Hopefully they cleared it out by now. We pretty much just shipped all my other cars to a different house. Hopefully it's clear. Yes, it is. Beautiful. All right. Well, Centenario is good to go. Let's head back to the docks and get the next Lambo. We are back at the docks. It's looking to be about 1300. What should we get next? You know what? Let's really quickly move the R8 out of the way because we are gonna open. Uh, it's more aiming towards this crate right here. So we're gonna open this crate. All right, so let's see what's inside crate number three. And in the third crate, we have the beautiful Lamborghini Aventador, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> Now this thing is looking sexy. Bone stock as well. Nothing done to it. I love it. It's looking to be a bit gloomy out here as well from what I could tell. So hopefully the weather improves a little bit later. And uh, hopefully it doesn't get too dark or else we're going to have to carry this into tomorrow. Let's see how this thing is. Oh yeah, I like the acceleration on that. Not as fast as the Zentenario, but it is a bit quicker than the Huracan, which is nice. Outstanding. It's raining now. Let's head on over here and park the Lambo, and oh my god, look at the Huracan. Holy shit, that thing is sexy as hell. Let's quickly jump inside of it. Don't want to get too wet here and ruin the beautiful seats. Look at that. Oh, we got a beautiful red pearlescent on there. We got the headlights tinted and every window tinted, completely blacked out. Now, just before I arrived here, I did get a call saying if I wanted to get this car boosted a little bit. And uh, apparently he improved the horsepower on it. It's roughly around 1500 horsepower now, which is pretty insane. So uh, I kind of want to test it, but I'm a bit scared because it's raining. Oh, shit. Oh, it picks up nice. It picks up nice. Okay, okay. Oh, it's not bad. 200 easy, 200 easy. This is Zentenario performance right here. My god, this isn't the only Huracan we're taking delivery of today. So let's bring this thing back on over to the house. And I made sure to actually have a driver ready for me there this time. So let's bring her back to the house and head back to the docks. Alrighty, we are back at the house. And we're going to park this beauty right next to the Zentenario over here. Why am I walking outside? Oh my god, it's freaking raining. Our driver's literally waiting right there. Alright, let's hop in the car. And let's head back to the docks. Hopefully the weather clears up a little bit by the time we get back there. Alrighty, guys. We are back at the docks. Three crates down. Three more to go. It looks like the weather did clear up a little bit, but it's still a bit cloudy out. Puddles everywhere, but, you know, at least it's not raining right now. What one shall we open next? Wow, honestly, let's just go right here. Let's take this beauty right here and let's see what we got inside. And inside crate number four, we got... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. The Liberty Walk Huracan. Oh, my God. Guys, this is a freaking car. Holy shit. This thing is looking sexy as hell. Oh, man. All right, so we're about to arrive at the custom shop. Now, you guys know... This Aventador was bone stock, but I wanted to do something a bit special. Since we have a Liberty Walk Huracan, I wanted to get a Liberty Walk Aventador as well, but I didn't order one. 
but my boy here, he said he's got me. So, let's see what he's done. I'm really excited for this. I'm really hoping it looks good. Here we... Oh, shit! God damn. Okay, no, he went all out. Look at that fucking bolt-on, boys. Oh my god. You gotta remember, this thing was bone stock a couple hours ago. He's obviously not working by himself. He's definitely got some of his boys with him, but like, shit. All right, I'll see you in a bit, Huracan. Oh, I'm gonna take this thing for a spin. My god. Oh, this thing is sexy. This thing is sexy as hell. And I still feel, like, pretty well in control. Like, I'm I'm not really worried. Like, I'm, I'm chilling driving 220 miles per hour almost. Holy shit, braking is immaculate. Guys, this garage is about to look sexy as hell. All right, we are back at the house. It's getting a bit late now. Yeah, it's 1700 already. Okay, we're gonna have to make this quick, boys. We got two crates left. Okay, perfect. Our driver's here as well. Let's park this thing right in the garage, and uh, let's go and get into the next car here. All right, let's get in the car. Let's head back to the docks. We got two cars left, and we also got that, uh, you know, Liberty Walk Huracan we got to go and check out. So, yeah, let's get the show on the road. All right, we are back at the docks. Two crates left. Let's just open them up right now. Shit, which ones did I already open? I forgot. I had to close a couple of them because I couldn't get the doors open. Uh, I know we didn't open the last one yet, so let's take a look what's inside of this thing. And inside the fifth container, we have the Schwamborghini Urus. I know I'm actually pronouncing that wrong. I didn't know. You know that's not actually how you say Urus. It's like Urus or something like that. I don't care. This thing is sexy as hell. All right, first thing, I don't know what the hell Lamborghini was thinking, putting white rims on this car. Yeah, we, we need to get this to Benny's right away. Th this is an emergency. We cannot have a sexy Lamborghini looking like this. It's got to look stunning. So, straight to the custom shop. Oh yeah, we still got the Huracan there, forgot about that. Let's go see what that looks like. Alrighty, we are arriving at the custom shop with the Urus. Ooh, look at that sexy thing. Oh man. Oh, man, this thing is nice. Ooh, with the lime green, we got the brand new wing on there as well. Oh, this whip is looking way too nice. Ooh, with the sunset too, goddamn, it's getting really late. I don't even know if we're going to be able to pick up the last car in time. I think I'm going to call him actually after this. We're going to pick up the Urus tomorrow morning along with the last Lamborghini we got over there. So let's head back to the house, get a good night's sleep. And then we will complete our collection in the morning. All right, let's park this thing in the garage right next to the Aventador. My God, both of our Liberty Walked Lamborghinis right next to each other. Maybe I should move that Huracan and that uh, Zentenario around. Just so you know, we can have all the wide bodies in one spot. But like, goddamn, shit is looking way too sexy, boys. That was a long day. Long day of picking up cars, dropping them off, picking up cars, dropping them off. I mean, I could have had all of them just delivered here, but you know... I, I like to pick them up myself, because it's a surprise, and I get to pick which container to open, and I don't know what's inside of it, except that it's a Lamborghini. Anyways, we're off to bed. I'll see you guys in a couple hours. All right, guys, we're back up and ready to go. It is currently 4 in the morning right now. Really quickly before we leave, we're just going to go and get some food from our Starbucks McDonald's in here, and they aren't even up yet. Nice. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just get some food on the way. But yeah, we need to go pick up these cars. I'm way too hyped. I could barely even sleep last night, so yeah, we're going to get a move on. And uh, hopefully we got a driver sitting out front and uh, we'll be good to go. What time is it now? Seven in the morning. God damn, I took a while to eat. Okay, we got one crate left. Our Yuris is sitting at the custom shop ready to go. I can't remember which crate I opened. Okay, I think it was this crate right here. This should be our final Lamborghini. All right, guys, the final Lamborghini is the beautiful Sion. <laughs> This thing looks sexy as hell, and I love the wheels on it. God damn, I think I'm going to ask him to just paint the rims, because the tires are perfect, and I mean, it looks pretty sexy the way it's sitting. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with the way this thing's looking right now. God damn! Shit, future of Lamborghini right here. <laughs> Let's freaking go, baby. All right, let's head on over to the custom shop. We're in no rush, but of course, I'm going to speed all the way over there, because I want to go see how beautiful our Urus is looking right now. Alrighty, we are arriving at the custom shop, and there we go. Shit's actually kind of looking nice. I like how he made it white, and then made the wheels black. 
This thing is looking nice. This is looking nice. It's nice and simple. Honestly, I'm good with that. I'm really liking the white on it as well. Pure white looks beautiful. I might honestly end up bringing this back at some point and tossing a wide body kit on there. Maybe putting a nice vinyl on as well. Shit is looking nice though. I do love how the headlights are tinted on here as well. It would have looked really nice blacked out as well, actually. Damn. Maybe if we could find a nice Liberty Walk kit, I'm actually going to black the entire car out and then put some white stickers around it. I think that would look really, really cool. But we will see in the future. This thing is also fast as hell. Not quite as fast as the Huracan or the Zentenario or the Aventador. But I mean, it's still freaking awesome. It is still pretty freaking awesome. All right, all the parking spots are actually full over there. So we're going to have to park this thing right over here. We're going to park it just like that. And there we go. Lamborghini Urus. And now it's time to go and get our final car, the Lamborghini Sion. And our driver's not here. Of course he's not. Why would he be? I only pay him a couple thousand dollars a day. So, you know, nice, nice. He's probably out shitting on someone's porch. You never know. All right, well, he picked us up very late. It's been about three hours now, so I killed him. We're going to get a new driver anyways. It's fine. But uh, let's go and take a look at the Sion, shall we? I'm really curious to see what he did to this. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. I actually am kind of digging it the way it's sitting right now. Without the vinyl on there, it actually looks a bit better in my opinion. I also like how he kept the wheels, just blacked them out. God damn. Beautiful gunmetal gray on here too. This thing is looking beautiful. My god. Oh my. Everything is just perfect today. Nothing could go wrong. Like this is... This has been the best two days of my life. Oh, this thing is nice. All right. Let's park this thing right next to the Urus. And there we go, baby. There we go. Lamborghini collection completed. Zentenario, Huracan, Aventador, Liberty Walk, Huracan, Liberty Walk, Urus, and the Sion. This garage is looking sexy as hell. Thank God I finally upgraded it from the shit I had before. Look at how sexy this looks. Guys, come on. But I am going to get bored of it eventually, so we're probably going to swap it out for maybe a Rolls Royce garage or Ferrari garage or Conan Say garage. I don't know yet. Let me know down below what you guys want me to do next, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you went on to enjoy the video, and with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.